Hey guys. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Today I will tell you, interesting facts about, Ostankino Tower. Located in, Moscow, Russia. So move toward my today's video. Ostankino Tower, is a television, and radio tower, located in, Moscow, Russia. It is one of the tallest structures, in the world. And is also considered, to be an important symbol of, the Soviet Union. Ostankino Tower, has a total of 19 floors. However, it is important to note that, the tower's floors are not designed, for public access. The tower's observation deck, is located at a height of, 337 meters, or 1,106 feet and is accessible to visitors, via high-speed elevators. The tower also has a rotating restaurant, located at a height of 334 meters, or 1,096 feet. The floors below the observation deck, and the restaurant, are used for technical equipment, including, broadcasting equipment, electrical rooms, and maintenance areas. Construction and Design The construction of Ostankino Tower, began in 1963, and was completed in 1967. The tower was designed by, a team of architects led by, Nikolai Nikitin, and engineers led by, Nikolai Vasilyev. The construction of the tower, was a significant engineering feat at the time. And many innovative techniques, were used to build it. The tower has a unique design, that consists of a central shaft, with a tripod base. And three exterior support pillars. The tower was built using, reinforced concrete and steel. And it stands at a height of, 540 meters, or 1,771 feet, making it the tallest freestanding structure, in Europe, and the seventh tallest tower, in the world. The exact quantity of concrete, and steel, used in the construction of Ostankino Tower, is not publicly available. However, it is estimated that, the tower contains approximately, 55,000 cubic meters, of reinforced concrete, and 5,000 tons of steel. The tower's core shaft, which houses the elevators, and staircases, is made of reinforced concrete, and is supported by three exterior pillars, also made of reinforced concrete. The tower's base, which is in the form of a tripod, is made of steel. The tower's central shaft, and three exterior pillars, allows it to withstand high winds, and other environmental conditions. The tower's base is also designed, to absorb shocks, and vibrations, ensuring the tower's stability, and safety. The construction of Ostankino Tower, was a significant engineering feat at the time and the use of reinforced concrete, and steel, played a critical role in its construction. During the construction of Ostankino Tower, many challenges had to be overcome. Including, harsh weather conditions, difficult terrain, and the need to ensure, the tower's stability, and safety. The construction of the tower, required the use of, heavy machinery, cranes, and other specialized equipment. Function and importance. The Ostankino Tower, was built to serve as a radio, and television broadcasting tower and it continues to serve this purpose today. The tower is equipped with, an observation deck, that is open to visitors, as well as a restaurant, that offers stunning views of Moscow. The tower was also, an important symbol of the Soviet Union. And was used in many propaganda films, and images, during the Cold War era. It was seen as a symbol of, the Soviet Union's technological prowess. And its ability to compete with, the United States in the space race. And tennis. The tower is equipped with, a variety of antennas, and transmitters. That broadcast television, and radio signals, across Moscow and beyond. It is also used for cellular, and other wireless communications. Incidents and accidents. Despite its impressive design, and construction. The Ostankino Tower, has experienced several incidents, and accidents, throughout its history. In 1975, a fire broke out, in the tower's telecommunications equipment room causing extensive damage, and disrupting television, and radio broadcasts. In 2000, a helicopter collided with the tower, causing a portion of the tower to collapse, and killing all three people on board, the helicopter. The incident led to a suspension of, all television and radio broadcasts, from the tower for several weeks. In August 2017, a television antenna broke off the tower, and fell to the ground, causing damage to nearby buildings, but no injuries. Conclusion. Despite these incidents, Ostankino Tower, remains an important landmark, and symbol of Moscow, and the former Soviet Union. Its unique design, and height continue to impress visitors.
and its function as a broadcasting tower, ensures that it remains, a vital part of Moscow's infrastructure. If this video is helpful for you, then, like and share my video, and subscribe my YouTube channel.